Hello everyone. Today we will see how we can use button click events. So let's start with our application is running in our local host right now and I would like to show you in our editor. In our app TSX I will create some buttons here and we will use and see how we can use that buttons in our application. So let's create first the button itself. So in the button let's say click me. That's it. We don't have any stylings or something like this and as you see our click me is there. Whenever I click that nothing happens because this has we didn't have any events or any uh, function assigned to the click event of that button right now. So as you see I open my console here whenever I click this nothing happens. So we need to create a function inside our component and let's say const handle click alright and it gets the function and we can say console log hey all right and we need to here and our handle click is not assigned somewhere currently we have just defined our function if i go here when i click me when i click the click me nothing happens what we need to do, we need to write here on click and we define our handle click function inside to handle that click. So you know what will happen now. When we click the click me and you see the hey is came there. So we can use this button in many places to do many functions in our application. If I click it again and again, it just console logs the hey, and that's it. And also, we can, in this on click event here, we can get the event itself. So let's call it event instead of e here, and we need to specify the type of this event. And it is mouse event. So we need to import this mouse event from React. Import from React. All right. And let's fix these. As you see, our ESLint says event is declared, declared but it's while you never read. So let's console log event as well. All right. What will happen now when we click onto the button, it will show us the all of the events we have. Let's clear that console. When we click, yes, you see we have the synthetic base event and we can see the react name is on click and we have the target as a button here and as you see all of the things also the inner HTML for that button we can directly see it there so you can use the event like this and if you want to create some dynamic functions into the on click let's create another button click to say hi right and uh, when we we didn't assign any functions to that and we are just seeing the click to say hi it's doing nothing and after that we would like to say create a function another function here and it's const handle say hi click we can say here console log and say 
hi and we will pass some arguments here in a second but I just want to show you here let's clear this I just want to show you on click event we can open curly brackets and we can say in a parenthesis we can call the function like this and handle say hi click now we assign that function directly to there as you see and now if we go to our browser when we click this one it is writing the hi here let me clear that console yes as you see we are showing the hi here and what happens if we want to pass here a name for example let's say hi flowers all right as you see it is complaining about the expected zero arguments but I get one it means we don't have any name here we just add it here we just need to specify as a string and we need to say hi and afterwards we can say name all right let's clear the console hi flowers now as you see our name came up there and it is just printing all of the things we change let's say hi cherries when we click that it is changed to hi cherries right now that's really nice and also if we want to get an event here what we need to do we just need to say as an event as the first argument which is getting inside here and we call that mouse event and here we need to pass the event like this as a first you can pass by a first parameter second parameter doesn't matter but you need to specify the same here it is a mouse event as well see can say console log event target all right let's make it event okay now let's clear the console and when we click that as you see we are getting the event target as a button click to say hi and the hi cherry is there and that's it actually we have created our buttons we have passed like this if you want to make them into the separate lines i suggest you doing so i just made it to show you right now but it looks better if you make your buttons looks like this and uh, it will just show you much more uh, visibility and uh, also you can directly check all of the events passed by here into the on click function you don't need to pass the event here it is if you don't need to use the event you can just use it like this and you can remove that event from here and you can remove that it's fine but if you want to use you can always make it in a way I did here if you need to see the event or if you want to manipulate the event itself you can always do that like that so thank you so much for listening me today and please subscribe to my channel for the next episodes and stay tuned i wish you a happy day and a happy coding